Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Listen, child of God. If I am erected the president of this nation, the moment you see me, even if I am just greeting you, you would want to kneel down for me. Hallelujah. Even now, as I am a man of God, I meet you. I'm greeting you. Just a, a mere greeting. You would want to kneel down. Is that true? Is that true? Why are you kneeling down? You might even be older than me in age. You might even see more, than, more things than I have seen. Why are you kneeling down? Because upon me there is a spirit of God which has dominated and it has given me so much power that I am dominating everywhere I am going. I am controlling surroundings. I am controlling realms. I am controlling issues. I am directing issues. I am directing spirits. And because of that, you have no option but to be down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. If, you, I, if I be a servant of God, in which I know I am today, may you carry the spirit of power. I said receive the spirit of power. I said receive the spirit of power. All that you want to see and to do, you must know it is going to be done when you have power. You are selling things and customers are not coming to your home, to your business. It means there is a power against your business. And it is chasing away customers. It scans and chases them away. We, we, without them noticing that something is chasing me from this one, they are going away. They are going away. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I was praying for somebody. Somebody all the way from Southern Province, somewhere that side, on phone. When I was praying for them, I prayed for them. They have never seen me. I've never seen them. They just sent me from somewhere and they got my line from there and they called me. When I prayed for them, they said, Man of God, when you are praying for me, I felt like something is letting me go. Like something is coming out of me. And I couldn't I couldn't hold it myself. I felt like I can urinate for myself. Then I felt like I should go to the toilet. I didn't know what I was feeling, but something was feeling like it is coming out from me. And I told them it is a spirit that has held your life captive. It is a spirit that has put you in bondage. It is a spirit that makes you not to succeed. It is a spirit that has made you to be poor. It is a spirit that has made your marriage useless. Ah, what is that strange spirit upon you? Today it is living in the name of Jesus. I said today it is living in the name of Jesus. I said today it is living in the name of Jesus. Am I taking to somebody here? Am I taking to somebody here? You are going to receive power when the Holy Spirit come on you. Yeah? It was not me. It is the Jesus Christ. Do you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, I am going, but I will be with you up to the end of this world. But how will Jesus be with you up to the end? May Jesus will become now in what is spirit. When Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. When you say greater is he, that is in me. Who is in you? Who is in you? What is in you? When you say greater is he that is in me, it means there is someone who is in you and he's got a lot of power greater than the surrounding. Praise the somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible says you will receive power when the Holy Ghost has come. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, come over me now. Say, Holy Ghost, come over me now. Say, Holy Ghost, come over me now. You don't need the Holy Spirit huh, for you to cast out demons. Huh. You need the Holy Ghost for your daily living in life. Huh. You need the Holy Ghost for you to eat your shima well. Huh. You need the Holy Ghost for you to go for work. Huh. You need the Holy Ghost when you're doing your family. Huh. You need the Holy Ghost when you're living a normal life. Huh. You need the Holy Ghost because in this world, huh, you are not in a world that is normal. You are a world, in a world that is spiritual. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I'm going to pray for you today, I'm not going to cast out demons or anything. I'm just going to release the Holy Ghost, open the, the Holy Ghost upon your life. So that when you carry the Spirit of God, you are going to go home and prophesy to your house. Amen. If somebody is sick, I want you to go home and prophesy to the sick person. And after that, you are going to see power. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The, the lady was giving me, who is giving a testimony here. The time she came, I was talking to her and she gave me a request. She said, Man of God, I want this office. I want this office. We've been trying and trying. I told her, God is going to make a way. I was speaking, not that I was just declaring, but because I saw it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then she came to testify. Some of you, I've seen a lot that God has done through you. I've spoken to you, and I don't just speak. I speak by the utterance. You know the utterance? I mean by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen, somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. To some of you, you know me, I, I really prophesy. I prophesy when it is the Holy Ghost speaking to me. I prophesy. But if God has not spoken, spoken to me, I will not prophesy. Amen. Rise up to your feet right now. Rise up, I want to pray for someone here.